I noticed a Mitsubishi Mew 2 on the ramp at our local airport the other day. The twin turboprop airplane is famous for having unforgiving stall characteristics. The designers put in a stick shaker, as on many jets of the day, but not the stick pusher that is now common. Considering their near-jet level of performance, these airplanes have been considerably devalued by the accident history and perceived lack of safety. See controller for what is currently available on the market, it looks as though a decent solitaire can be purchased for $500,000. That's for an airplane that can cruise at 310 knots, handle some ice, legally anyway, the practical ice capability is an open question, take six people more than 1,000 nautical miles in pressurized comfort, fly over most weather at 33,500, etc. More than 700 of these airplanes were built and a lot of them are still flying. What if the latest retrofit autopilots could make the Mu2 a lot safer? Consider the Garmin GFC 600 and similar. These retrofit autopilots, even when not engaged, can provide envelope protection and nudge the flight controls in a safe direction if they sense that the plane is approaching a stall. It isn't quite the level of idiot proofing of an Airbus A320, but maybe if set to max, could turn what has been kind of unsafe into reasonably safe. Pilot readers, what do you think? More radical idea, but perhaps not for an airframe worth as little as $200,000 in airworthy condition, retrofit fly-by-wire controls. Put a big don't touch this sign on the yoke of a legacy jet or turbo pop and install a side stick that, as in an Airbus or F-22, gives suggestions to the computer. Through extra beefy servo motors, the computer becomes the sole manipulator of the flight controls. If the computer fails, the pilot can grab the yoke and look for a runway at least 10,000 long, let's presume he or she will be rusty, related.